to get somebody off the streets that's preying on people, uh, for me, it was worth it. He was supposed to be fixing a lanai, but instead, James Taylor ended up behind bars. Deputies say he conned victims out of thousands of dollars. Thanks for watching NBC2. I'm Kylie Gaylor. And I'm Peter Bush. Taylor claimed to be a contractor after Hurricane Ian. Turns out he did not have a license. NBC2 Samantha Serban is speaking exclusively with the victim. This orange permit, the final piece of the puzzle, coming more than a year and a half after she started trying to get her lanai fixed. Kim Hickey conned by a man who said he'd fix her storm damaged backyard, but never showed up to work. Long story short, um, just it was it's horrible. Hurricane Ian stole this woman's backyard paradise. Then came a con man contractor who stole her money too. He told me he was a licensed contractor and all of that and shame on me. I believed him. Kim Hickey hired James Taylor for some handyman work in the past and had no problems. But when it came to fixing her lanai post storm, he couldn't seem to get his act together. It just became this back and forth. Didn't you see me? I dropped off materials and I'm like, I have cameras all. No, I did not see you. You were not on the cameras. There aren't any materials. That's when the red flag started flying. At some point, my gut was like, wait, this isn't adding up. Like, don't go any further with this. The South Gulf Cove woman contacted detectives who say this isn't the first time Taylor's been accused of this kind of activity. He was arrested in 2002 for contractor fraud and is being investigated again right now. Turns out this is a bad habit Taylor can't break. There is such a sense of community after Ian and then you have somebody like that just preying on the community is horrible. There's so much legitimate work that if you wanted to make an honest living, you know, he'd be set up for life if he just would have done the right thing. Taylor was arrested a few weeks ago and still sits in the Charlotte County Jail tonight. Hickey now waits for her day in court and her money back, but tells me there is one thing she'll never regain. To be able to trust somebody that they're going to do what they say. Hickey says the reason she went after Taylor is to make sure he doesn't do this to anyone else. She says no one should have to go through the headache she did. I'm local in South Gulf Cove. Samantha Serban, NBC2.